Magic in the World of Game of Thrones Magic, occasionally referred to as the Higher Mysteries, is a powerful but little understood force in the world. In Westeros, it is believed, particularly by the Maesters of the Citadel, that magic, if it ever existed, is now gone from the world. Only one in every hundred Maesters, Lewin among them, bother to study the subject long enough to earn a Valyrian steel link for their chains. In Essos, magic is still practiced, particularly in the eastern regions of the continent, but even there its effects and powers of its practitioners are frequently questioned. It has long been believed that dragons have a strong connection to magic, and magic is said to be strongest in their presence. With the birth of Daenerys Targaryen's dragons, the first ones in more than a century, magic, at least eastern magic, seems to be slowly making its way back into the world. Charlatans have found that their tricks are becoming spells, while the power of established practitioners has begun to rapidly and greatly increase. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over magic in the world of Game of Thrones. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Types of Magic Blood Magic practiced by the Magi beyond the Dothraki Sea, as well as the Red Priests of the Lord of Light. Blood magic involves the sacrifice of both animals and humans and is forbidden among the Dothraki. Green Sight Associated with the Green Seers of the Children of the Forest, and sometimes found among descendants of the First Men, it allows the user to experience prophetic dreams. Necromancy the ability to raise and manipulate the dead, demonstrated by the White Walkers and certain followers of the Lord of Light. Considered one of the darkest forms of magic, even the Red Priests themselves are wary of it, and there is no consensus on how it exactly works. Pyrokinesis The ability to summon and manipulate fire. Beric Dondarrion uses this to set his sword on fire, and Melisandre used it during the Battle of Winterfell to aid the defenders of Winterfell. Shadow Birthing Shadowbinders from Ashai may give birth to shadows shortly after being impregnated by a man. Valerian Magic Practiced by the Valerians in the time of the Valerian Freehold, it involves fire-related abilities as well as the ability to bond with and control dragons. Water Magic the ancient Rhoynar people who lived along the Rhoyne River in western Essos were said to possess magic drawn from the river itself. Their water wizards were able to call upon great water spouts, knocking Valerian dragon riders out of the sky. Warging The ability to enter the mind of an animal and experience and or control its actions. In very rare cases, this power can be used on simple-minded humans as well. Groups Alchemists Guild Alchemists Guild, also known as Pyromancers, a society of learned men of Westeros boasting the practice of ancient magic and abilities such as transmuting metals now limited to the production and manipulation of wildfire. Children of the Forest A race of non-humans that were perhaps the most powerful of the naturally gifted in magic. At one point, they destroyed an entire landmass after uniting their magical powers. Also seen practicing pyromancy, a variation of necromancy, and the ability to turn humans into white walkers. Red Priests The clergy of the Lord of Light. According to them, they do not boast abilities of their own, only gifts from the Red God. Adept at experiencing visions of the future by gazing into flames and pyres. Magi Sorceresses from Essos who have been shown as practicing blood magic for healing or seeing a person's future. Shadowbinders Magic practitioners from the city of Ashai. Warlocks Magic practitioners of Karth, based at the House of the Undying. Known for their custom of drinking shade of the evening. White Walkers Mysterious former humans capable of cryomancy and necromancy. In the books. 
In the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, the overall nature and state of magic is similar to how it is presented in the TV series. Magic at the start of the series is so rare that almost everyone west of Valeria believes it to be gone, even if it did exist. To the east of Valeria's ruins, magic's existence is not in doubt, only its potency. When Daenerys successfully hatches her dragons, practitioners of magic across the world, from Karth to Old Town, gradually discover that their once meager power has increased significantly. Although it has not been established much in the series, Ashai is widely regarded as the center of magical lore. It and the nearby Shadowlands are also rumored to be the home of the darkest magics known. The Faceless Men of Bravos appear to seemingly possess magical abilities that allow them to change their appearance at will, but the exact nature of the phenomenon is unclear. In conjunction with preparing and utilizing the faces, as well as Murmur's tricks, the Faceless Men use magical glamours to aid in their disguises. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.